Hey guys, and welcome to my tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you the second step to the video series that I've started of Beginner Crochet. In this video, I will be going over how to do a half double crochet, a double crochet, and a treble crochet. Now, if you missed the last video, you missed quite a bit, so I recommend going back and watching that one before you watch this one if you are a completely beginner at crochet. What we went over in that one was how to hold a hook, how to count your stitches, how to make a loop for your hook, how to do a chain, a slip stitch, and a single crochet. So if you watch the last video, you will recognize this because this is where we left off. If you don't recognize this or you don't know how to do any of that or you want to make sure that you're doing it correctly, I'll be linking the video down below so that you can go ahead and watch that. So, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a little bit bigger stitches. So let's get started. So we're going to start off this video with a chain 15. Again, if you don't know how to do that, go ahead and check out the link in the description below and I'll show you exactly how to do this and exactly how to count to make sure that you have 15 when you're done. I'm going to get started out with the smaller of the three stitches, which is the half double crochet. So the half double starts out like wrapping the yarn around your hook. Now we are going to go into the second stitch from the hook, and I explained why in the last video. But once we wrap our yarn around our hook, we're going to take this top stitch, like we usually use, and we'll have, we'll wrap the yarn around our hook, and we'll go through that stitch just like that. Now we have three stitches on our hook. Now we're going to wrap and go through all three loops on the hook. And that's how you complete a half double. I'll show you a few more times, of course. So wrap the yarn around your hook, insert into that stitch, wrap the yarn around your hook, go through, three loops on your hook, wrap, and pull through all three, and then pull to make your stitch tight. If you're having trouble going through all three stitches at a time, I'll show you my trick that I pretty much showed you in the last video, but it helps with this too, just as a reminder. So when I crochet, I bring my crochet hook to the side so that this point is on the side where my stitches are going to be the biggest. So I usually pull up a little bit, and again, you don't want your stitches to be too tight. So as you can see, I have a little bit of a hole there for room. You don't want your stitches to be so tight that you can't go through, but you don't want them to be so loose that your hook is going to fall straight out. So I'll bring my hook to the side, and then I can go through one, two, and three. Really, really easy. And then when I'm done going through that second one, as you can see, I pull and I turn my hook back up. Let me show you again. So go into here. Wrap and pull through, pull through all three, and then when you're done, pull your hook back up so that you don't lose the yarn. Really nice and simple crochet. And then I usually pull my yarn to get it tight in the stitch and then tight around my hook again, but again, little playroom so you can continue to crochet and not have stitches too tight. So you really want to keep your gauge at a good size and keep your hook at a good size because what that means basically is for example this crochet snowman that I made in one of my last videos came out to be six by two for me inches wide. If your yarn was pulled too tightly or too loosely you can come up with a completely different size for this which isn't a good thing if you're trying to come up with a specific size for your crochet project. So gauge is really important and the tightness of your yarn is really So the next thing I'm going to be teaching you how to do is going to be a double crochet. So it's pretty much the same as a half double, we just add one extra step to it. So wrap the yarn around your hook like you had for the half double. Insert into the stitches always. Remember, make sure to only have w insert once into the stitch. Then you're going to wrap the yarn around your hook, 
and pull through. Three loops on your hook just like normal. This time, though, we're going to wrap and pull through two loops on the hook and then come back up. You'll have two loops left, then you will wrap and pull through two more times. So this is making the stitch a little bit bigger for you. So wrap, insert, wrap, pull through, wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two. And that is the language I would be using if I was teaching you how to crochet in a normal tutorial video. So just to get you used to hearing some of the steps so that eventually you can crochet, follow a tutorial, and not really have to look if it's a video tutorial. So wrap, one more time I'll show you. Insert, wrap, pull through. You'll have three loops on the hook, and remember always bring your hook back up so it doesn't fall out like it just did. Wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two. And as you can see, it's a little bit bigger than the half double because we're adding a step, so it's going to get bigger. Now for the treble crochet. So this one is going to be a little bit trickier. It is the trickiest one out of the whole bunch, but I think we can handle it. So we're going to start by wrapping the yarn around our hook two times. So we're going to start out with three loops. And with this one, this is where this finger comes in the most handy. I usually hold the top loop and pull it down so that it doesn't fall straight off the hook when I'm crocheting. I want to control these three pieces of yarn right here so that they don't fall off my hook. And then I'm going to insert into the stitch, wrap the yarn around my hook, and pull through. And then pull back up so that I have four loops on the hook and none of them have fallen off. Now, I want to wrap, and I'm going to grab these two because I'm not using them yet, and I'm going to pull through two loops on the hook. Now I have three. Now I'm going to wrap and pull through two more, not using this one. Now I have two left. Now I will wrap and pull through the last two. Now I know that was a lot, so I'll show you a few more times. Wrap the yarn twice around your hook. Grab it so that it doesn't fall off, and insert into that next stitch. Now wrap the yarn and pull through. You will have four loops on your hook. Now you're going to wrap and pull through two. Grab these if you need to so that they don't go through. You'll have three loops on your hook. Wrap, pull through two more, again grabbing this one if you need to. Last two loops, wrap and pull through two. So as you can see, if I do this one more time for a comparison, this stitch is considerably larger than the other two. Considerably larger. And the different the thing with this one is they are usually quite far apart because of how big they are. As you can see, they are pretty, you know, far apart, but these are severely far apart. So, and then these you have to really pull to get apart.